file transfer from a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus to a TRS-80. <laughs> Have fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do here today is we're going to take a look at the the new and improved Samsung DeX as a way to do your file transfer from your Android phone to your Macintosh. I've got a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus here. So in this video, we're going to we're going to have to plug in. I'll be having to use a USB-C but we're not going to go through the entire functionality of Dex. We're just going to use Dex as our file transfer. So first of all, we're going to want to go over to the Samsung Dex website and we're going to want to download. Now I'm on a Mac and this is going to be, um, this video will be particularly for people with Mac. We're going to go ahead and download the Samsung Dex for Mac, which I've already done. If you're downloading now, you're going to find it down here at the bottom. But I've already done it, so I'm going to find mine over here in the downloads. So if you download it, it's going to be called Samsung Dex Setup. So go ahead and click on that and get that thing downloaded. Now, after you download that, one thing that you might have to do if you're on a Mac because these things are pretty secure is you may need to go into system preferences go over here to security and privacy which is up on the top and then click the unlock button and if this right here Samsung Dex is unchecked you want to check it and then click the lock button again. That way your Mac will recognize this program. All right, so now you've got it installed and you've got that checked. All right, typically what I do is I go into my applications and obviously we're not meaning to do an entire Dex um, video, but so here's the application. I'll usually drag it down here into my into my little bar down here. What I might also do is open my Stream Deck, which I need to do a review on this as well. This thing is awesome. So I'll open my Stream Deck. <clears throat> Just go over here into More Apps and drag the decks in there. Thank you. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our phone. And I have not installed any particular software. All right. So we've got the plug, the phone plugged in. And let's see, is anything going to happen automatically? All right. Are we seeing that? Yes. There's the Dex application that we just installed. All right. It says tap start on your phone now. All right. So on your phone then you're going to see something like, oh man, you might not be able to read that. All right, so you're gonna see start casting with Samsung Dex. So start now. All right, so here we are, we're actually in Dex. So if I wanted to go look at eBay, Here's what I was looking at before. I like RX-7s. There's an RX-8. So now we are actually in DeX on the phone. But here's the cool part. So this is what the video is about. So once you get DeX set up, you plug your phone in and get it accessed. Then at the top left, you've got my files here. So check this out. So when you go into my files, so let's go look at some pictures I've taken. I take pictures of a particular item a lot. So let's see what I've done recently. So if we go over here to this image, so there's the image. 
All right, so now I'm on the iMac desktop here, new folder. And we'll just say whatever, OP1. OP1. All right. Then let's see if I can grab multiple uh, photos here. Well, there we go. We can open the photo, take a look at it, but I am more interested in... <clears throat> I want to drag... All right, so I'm going to drag and drop those four. Can I do it? So we're dragging from my phone on Dex into the folder I just created, which is on my iMac. There they are, pal. All right, how about videos? So here we've got some videos. Okay, there's a video that I do not have in my, that I haven't transferred over yet using my previous method, which is called Handshaker. We'll do a video on Handshaker in a moment. So as you see, I'm just gonna drag and drop that video into the file I created on my desktop. Now we're in the Mac, and now I'm ready to edit. So now I can drag this right into Final Cut Pro or iMovie. So basically I just dragged that video from my phone into my iMac. And then now I'm gonna be able to go straight into, straight into iMovie and start editing. All right, so now we're gonna do it again, folks. We'll go through it again. You always got to go through it again. So we've got our Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. All right. And I've just recorded a video and I want to quickly get this thing edited and uploaded to YouTube from my desktop because I want to use uh, Final Cut Pro or whatever. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a file transfer via Dex, which is the updated Samsung application which allows you to access your phone from your iMac. So we've got the phone and we've already gone through the install process. We've got Dex here. We've installed the Mac version and we've gone into our system preferences to make sure that the Mac will allow for the application to work right here. So then I'm going to want to do a file transfer, so I just come into the office, plug the phone in. All right, so now the phone, it should be automatic. It should be, but nothing's happening. So let's see, do I actually have to click on Dex? All right, so then it comes up with a window here that, well, it's supposed to, where are you? Start now, start casting with Samsung Dex. So it asks a question on the phone, click start now. Okay, the uh, my other method, which is using Handshaker, which we will do shortly. Uh, with Handshaker, you can do it via Bluetooth. I'm not, I do not believe that we can do that on Dex. So anyway, here we are on Dex. And I've got my phone connected. My iMac here recognizes the phone. And I'm going to go ahead and want to, now watch this. This is what's cool. I'm going off onto my iMac right here, starting a new file. We're just calling it OP1 because we're going to transfer some pictures of OP1. All right. So now that's a file I just start I just uh, set up on my iMac. Now I'm going to go in here to my Android uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, go into my videos and check it out. Here's the video that I wanted. So I'm going to take that. Let's just go ahead and take two while we're at it. So we're going to want to edit these two videos. We're going to drag them from the phone 
onto the Mac desktop. And then while that's happening, I'm going to go into my iMovie over here because I need to get editing quick as the objective. And we're just going to start a new project. So those will have been copied by now. And we're going to go here and look for the folder I just set up on the desktop, which will be OP1. Pow. Here's going to be the two videos I'll just drag in there. Import selected. Okay, that's because uh, they're still they're still importing. But as you see now, okay, from the Samsung phone via Dex, I've got the video that I. Of course. Don't touch me there. What? What? You touch it, you might spit. You might spit is what I say. It's my own personalized ringtone, ladies and gentlemen. That's my idea of country and western. All right, we're done here. So as you see, we've got a video ready to edit, and it was very quick. So if you're looking for a way to transfer your files from your Android phone off to your Macintosh computer, I call it a Macintosh, if, off to your TRS-80, that'll tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. This is, a, how many hits will a, um, will a video get if I title it, file transfer from a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus to a TRS-80. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs>